Okay, Doppler, thank you. It's a story that's gained national attention, the controversial mural of an American flag at a Canutillo school under construction. Hunt communities objected to a flag-like mural painted on the side of the new Reyes Elementary School, saying it didn't meet the color requirements of the neighborhood. It was painted over. After months of disagreements between the developer and the Canotillo School District, the flag will be painted once again. Today, the district announced Operation Paint It Back. ABC 7's Jerry Nakara tells us the district is looking for patriotic people to help pay for the massive mural. We're feeling so happy. We're feeling like there's hope. Hope isn't a dead end street today. Hope is that we've got partners, we've got supporters, we've got a community that cares. Board President Lori Sill stands alongside former Congressman Silvestre Reyes and combat veteran Vince Vargas. You can see by the smiles, the announcement of the crowdfunding project Operation Painted Back is an exciting day for the group. This is very important for those of us that are veterans. Reyes, who the school is being named after, tells me the months of controversy isn't just about a painting. It is a culmination of all the sacrifices, not just that we made, but that are being made today by men and women uh, in our military. Earlier this year, the school painted a sample of the flag. Hung Communities, the developer of the area, told the district it didn't meet the color scheme of the neighborhood and made the district paint over the flag. For combat veterans like Vargas, it was an insult. It's just a slap in the face. It was, it was, it was it almost felt like I was being disrespected personally. With approval from area residents, the flag was allowed to be painted, but the problem now is that the district didn't appropriate the funds to repaint the flag when the project's budget was established in 2011. Now, the district is looking for the community's help to fund the $50,000 mural. Vargas, a military clothing line owner, has more than 300,000 followers on social media through several outlets. He tells me he wants to use his social media power to get donations. We don't have to shy away from being American anymore. You know, we, we shouldn't have to shy away from being American. We should be proud of that fact because that's what we are, you know, proud Americans. Jerry Nakira, ABC7.